A few months ago in the fall, I had the wonderful privilege of preaching in Mark Dever's now famous church, Capitol Hill Baptist Church, right in the middle of the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., within walking distance of many of the iconic buildings that make up the, the power base of our political structure in America. It was a great, great joy to preach there. The service is my kind of service. It started with hymns, am I correct, 12 of them, 10 of them, 10 hymns, 10 hymns, all verses of all hymns. <laughs> there, there were five prayers, six prayers by five or six different people interspersed between the hymns and linking the hymns together. There was the reading of three, four passages of Scripture. It was real church. It was real church. And then there was me preaching for an hour, the Word of God. We started at 10 and we ended at 1230. Is that godly or what? Mark, do you know that you are the only person in America doing this? It doesn't bother you at all, does it? This is absolutely wonderful. Then, and you wouldn't know about this, then Mark said to me, I know you have to go preach for Jesse Johnson tonight, but after you preach for Jesse, you have to come back. You have to come back at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, because there's going to be a two-and-a-half-hour debriefing on your sermon <laughs> and the service. So I preached and I dutifully came back. And I listened while 45 young men critiqued my sermon. <laughs> it, was, it was an incredibly wonderful, humbling experience. <laughs> it was a delight, Mark. Really was. And we're, we're delighted to have you here. You don't need an introduction in this group. Let's welcome Dr. Mark Devil. Uh, the story's grown slightly. There were probably 35 men. It lasted an hour and a half, and John wanted to stay for an extra half hour, so we went for two hours. And it, there was very little critique. It was mainly appreciation, though there were a few questions. <laughs> 